Hemikudas came in a lot of bright colors, but take a sip of this one in citron mist. Hmm. Ah, the 1970s. It seems like most muscle cars were either painted bright over-the-top colors or dark and green, brown, earthy tones. Well, check this one out. It's a 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda 4-speed from the Brothers Collection, and it's wearing a delightful shade of citron mist green. It's complemented by a white top and white interior, and I really dig it. This is a special Cuda indeed. Many of us immediately think of high impact colors, big billboard stripes, spoilers, and other attention getting graphics when the topic turns to Mopar muscle cars. But in this case, our code FY4 Citron Mist Hemi Cuda takes the subtle approach, at least on the visual side of things. The Barracuda was redesigned for 1970 to more easily accept giant engines like the 440 and the physically larger 426 Hemi. And this one, well, it's got the goods. And you know, I don't think any other car company picked up a car's nickname and used it officially the way Plymouth did. The base model was the Barracuda, and because the kids on the street shortened the name, Plymouth called the high-performance versions Cuda. And then, changed it to Hemi Cuda for those with the elephant gun under the hood. While people often called the Pontiac GTO the GOAT, you never saw Pontiac acknowledge that nickname. Plymouth was known for offering hundreds of different options, so you could personalize your Cuda to be a one-of-a-kind if you really wanted to. And this one has a cool mix of sporty and subtle all at the same time. The shaker hood scoop and hood pins interrupt the solid color body, which was ordered with a Hemi Stripe Delete package. The lower fog lights bring some zip to the front end, but there is no lower spoiler. And the white vinyl roof and white interior balance that cool citron mist color. Which, by the way, sounds like the name for a bubbly soda pop splashed in a cocktail. You can almost hear the fizzing when you look closely at the paint. There's a perfect amount of argent silver on the shaker scoop, the grill surround, and rally wheels with just a touch of chrome and polished trim splashed in for a classy contrast. It's a really good looking car, as unusual as it is. Don't let the conservative exterior color fool you. Underneath that shaker hood is a dual quad 426 Hemi, and it's not messing around. Yep, this is also one of the 284 425 horsepower 426 Hemi four-speed Cudas built for 1970. So it's a rare one in options as well as color. The new process four-speed manual transmission found itself being thrashed on both ends, both the 490 foot-pounds of torque from the Hemi and also by the Hurst pistol grip shifter thrown around by speed crazed drivers. Two Carter AFB carbs had a chugging contest when the hammer went down, turning good old-fashioned leaded gas into white tire smoke on command. Inside, this mystical machine sports a stark black and white interior with more great option choices. The dash is filled with the optional rally gauge cluster for easier viewing of engine vitals at high speed. The speedo, it winds up to 150 and the tack to 8,000 RPM. It's got comfortable white high-backed bucket seats and the driver's is six-way adjustable. Power steering is actuated by the cool-looking sport steering wheel and also features the rim blow horn to make a lot of noise with just a little squeeze. These cars are a bit nose heavy with the all cast iron 426 Hemi up front, but they handle and drive pretty well. The front suspension uses a torsion bar design for springs and manual front disc brakes tucked behind those rally wheels. The rear uses traditional leaf springs and drum brakes.
This one's got unexpected performance with laid back style. What do you think? Do you like your muscle cars more in your face or flying under the radar like our 70 here? Well, you can let us know as you subscribe to our channel. And don't worry, we'll be back next time with another groovy ride from the Brothers Collection here on Muscle Car of the Week.